Tracy from World One Games, and I'm here with a special haul today. So, as you can see, I have some very special bags on the table. But, it's not just any ordinary haul. This is my, ta-da, my birthday haul. So, my birthday was just the other day, and each and every one of these items was a gift. So, I'm going to share with you my birthday gifts. So, um, as you can see, there are some FunCon exclusives. I have some PinkCon exclusives. I have exclusives from Grotto Treasure, from 707 Street, from Cordy's Corner. I'm going to have some great stuff. I am really excited to share each and every one of these items with you. So, let's get started, all right? So, which one should we start with? Let's start with Grotto Treasures. So, Grotto Treasures has this awesome Lightning McQueen bag. I know it got a little flat because people were like, um, why are the headlights so close to his eyes? And I mean, that, that, that could have been done better, but I'm telling you this bag is so awesome. So when it came, uh, I really felt that the picture just didn't do it justice. If you get really close, you can see that his eyes, this is an applique and then the headlights, this is actually debossed in. So it's not just printed and then his mouth, this is debossed and embroidered. So just an excellent um, texture element to really make the bag pop. And then we have some lovely printing here and on the sides that uh, give us that special Pixar feel so that we know that this is a Lightning McQueen bag. And then of course we have our Pixar Loungefly tag. We have the um, black trim gold hardware and um, the pocket is not its normal shape. It is slightly more rounded and slightly smaller, but that is so that it um, adheres to the form of his face so that it's matching the, the look of the car and so that he looks more real. So it has that cosplay feel. So I really like it. I think it looks great. Um, and so of course we have side pockets, fashion and function guys. And then on the back, if you look in the middle, it says, Lightning McQueen. Now let's look inside. Oh, and of course it comes with a uh, Grotto Treasure tag. Love that. So our lining, it's the checkered flag and Lightning McQueen so that you know it's a winner and so are you. Love this bag. So I am actually looking for, um, there are two jackets actually. It's a red one and then there's the leather black racing jacket. They're both made by Disney. So if you guys see them out in the wild, I'm looking for a size large adult, obviously, in both. So just drop it in my comments because I'm hunting them down. Because I have matching everything for my bags. Oh, and I'm hoping that Disney is going to make a um, Lightning McQueen shoe that is in a kid size that I can fit in or an adult shoe that um, I can I can fit into. Okay, so next up we have 707 Streets, Dr. Seuss. So this is a reprint and um, I think David over 707 Street did a great job um, picking his exclusives because uh, Dr. Seuss is very popular despite all of the controversy. I personally love Dr. Seuss. Um, this particular bag, I actually have, I believe, two matching pair of Skechers uh, to go with it. So if you guys like to match your shoes and your bags, Skechers has made an entire series of Dr. Seuss shoes. So you can check it out at the Skechers store. Blah, blah. Twisted tongue today. The Skechers store, or um, I believe you can also find them at the infamous store, it's a shoe store. Um, so I found uh, several uh, at both and they were actually at a reasonable price. So let's get back to the bag. So I love this print. What's so great about the print is this is probably one of the easiest prints to not have to be concerned with placement. Um, it is such a, um, a very fair and fair weather print that regardless, it is going to look good. Um, they didn't have to shrink it or blow it up so that we wouldn't all be upset. Oh, cut off heads, cut off heads. So, I mean, this was a really good print to go with. 
So the bag is a pastel, a very pale pastel. It has the black trim with silver hardware. We have our classic Dr. Seuss lounge fly um, tag. And then of course it does have side pockets, which are very important. And then if we look inside, let's see what the, you know what the lining's gonna be. Because it's a reprint, it's going to have that gray lining. So that is unfortunate, but still I don't care because I love them. I love Dr. Seuss everywhere. Okay, I know my rhyme wasn't very good, but still, I love this bag and I'm so grateful to have gotten it. So next up we have this lovely new bag from the Biltmore Estate. So I don't know if you guys have seen my video where I showed you the turquoise bag. Um, this is another one of their very um, chic bags because this is a velour um, uh, velvety uh, feeling bag and it has like a uh, like a soft soft leather almost suede feel to it uh, and it's brown and then if you look very closely you can see it has that gold stitching and it is very gold it's not like a yellow gold it is actual yellow like a gold gold so it looks very um, you know classy very classy um, so this is one of those bags where the front pocket is very large because uh, this is not your all over print. This is not a cosplay. This bag is meant to look sophisticated and chic and can be worn with a, like a fancy dress. This pocket and this style works very well. So um, whereas the other kind of bags, this it would look absolutely awful because then you would just have a nightmare. Um, I do love this uh, beautiful strip down the middle and then it's highlighted and accented with this is actually like a if you feel that or you hear it it's metal um, and it has all this beautiful decorative and then the B in the middle for the Biltmore Estate. So it has brown trim gold hardware the Biltmore tag at the bottom. Now let's have a look at the lining. I love this bag. Um, so I have another I ordered the turquoise handbag and like right now if you go to their site there's like a I believe it's either 20 or 30 percent off so it takes it down to i want to say like 55 dollars now i want to go back and order the matching purse for this so this is the lining it's very pretty so that is a gold on burgundy and um, this has lots of extra storage because in the very large front pocket pocket there is a zipper pocket um, so like i said there's extra storage because it does have side pockets and then this is a very large front pocket and then there's another pocket on the interior. So that's a lot of storage. This is definitely fashion meets function. So if you're that classy gal looking for a bag that you can take anywhere, this is it. Because again, you know, the only thing that I'm not terribly fond of is gonna be the strap. And that's because I don't carry a bag like this. Nor can you hang this from the wall like this. It requires a special, more heavy duty hook. But that's the only downside, really, that's it. So next we have Hercules from Cordy's Corner. Ah, okay, so this bag got a little bit of hate. And I, I don't really know why. Um, I wanna show you side by side because this bag, people were like, oh my God, it's really big, I don't understand. So it's not really that big, It was that was very deceptive. So if you look at it next to the Dr. Seuss bag, it's really not that much bigger. So um, it, it was a very deceptive picture because again, look at it next to me, it's not that much bigger. Um, and then people were like, well, there's not really a lot, enough Hercules on the bag. So I think initially maybe I felt that way too. I mean, I did love um, the applique with Meg and Herc. Um, it's really nice. Uh, it's not chibi and it's not too cartoony, it's actually, exactly from the movie and I love that they did a really brilliant job and that's been hard lately you guys know what I mean there's been a lot of chibi a lot of cartoony and it just uh, so I really did love this and but if you look at the print okay you got to get close look at the clouds these are little Olympuses in the clouds so see, they did actually try to, to really pull it together, but they didn't want this to be a bag that was too kitty. So you would feel cool wearing this with other stuff versus like an all over print that looked all cartoony and 
So I think they actually did a good job. The only thing, mm -hmm, okay, so two things. I would have liked some side pockets because you guys know I love my side pockets. And what is it with these handles? Other than that, I am loving this bag because it is just a little bit bigger, just a teensy bit bigger, not much, but just enough to fit my extra stuff. Um, and the pocket is actually a really nice size pocket. Um, and so they did a, a really, a really good job with that pocket. I was really kind of afraid that I was going to see too much of the zipper. Um, and I think maybe it's the colors because a lot of people don't realize that a color scheme can do a lot for a bag. And I know you're asking yourself, what do you mean by a color scheme can do a lot for a bag? So have you ever noticed that sometimes you won't see a defect in a bag because the colors, like say it's, it's a dark color, right? And then there's a scratch. So you, you totally saw that, right? But say it's a really light colored bag, it's pastel. So maybe you didn't see the scratch until someone really got close and looked at it and said, oh my God, there's a scratch. So color schemes can hide defects. They can hide things that you wouldn't normally see. So if you look at this, this pocket pulled back like this, you don't really see the zipper. If I get it really close, you can see the zipper a little more. But it's because these pale, these muted colors, they help to hide this annoying little zipper. See what I mean? If this was a darker color bag, this gold would stick out like a sore thumb. So color scheme does a lot for a bag. Colors matter. The color wheel is important. I've been to art class, okay? So, I love the print. Um, I, I love the shape of the bag. It's a little different and I like a little different. What can I say? Let's have a look at the inside and see what it looks like. See, now I like the liner and it's a lot like the front. See, it has the little uh, Olympuses in the clouds and it's subtle. Subtle is nice. Not every bag has to be big and gaudy and annoying and loud. Sometimes subtlety is the way to go. And I think that's what they were going for at Cordy's Corner. All of these very loud, very way over the top bags, they decided to go with something a little more muted. And I think that these are really pretty colors. Honestly, purple lavender is my color, okay? So I wear a lot of lavender. So this will go with almost everything that I have in my closet that's Nike because I have a lot of lavender Nike and that's my thing. So thank you, Cordy. Beautiful bag. Stop the hate because Herc and Meg, they look cute. So my next and last bag, this is from my husband. He's a good man because um, I don't pay eBay prices. We have said this. I don't know how many times, okay? So I tried on Funcon to get this. It just didn't happen. It didn't happen. So um, he got this for my birthday. He paid an eBay price. He won't even tell me how much it was. I'm just like, actually, he's all, I paid a scalper. And I was like, oh, really? Really? <sighs> but he did it out of love, okay? He did it out of love. The only thing is now, because I know he paid a lot of money for it, I'm not going to want to wear it. You know, I'm not going to want to take it out of the house. That's going to be like one of those ones that stays on the wall because I don't want anything to happen to it. So, of course, you know, this is going to be scotch guarded because of the light colors in his face. So, let's talk about the fun and fabulous details of the beast bag. So, there is a lot going on here. There are a lot of appliques on top of appliques on top of appliques. So in order to get all of the really, really important details in his face, they had to layer the appliques. Because like, if you look at the horns, there's two different colors. Now that is printed, but if you look, there is like a textured print here and a flat print here. So what that means is that they, they use like a stippling effect onto the vegan leather and then they color print over it. 
so that it, and it's just a very light, like very, very, very light stippling. And what it does is it gives the paint the look of a texture without there being real texture. And then there's a flat paint here. So you gotta get really close to see what I'm saying. See, see. Um, and then of course we have the same kind of thing going on here with the ears. There is a, um, almost like a suede feel to this. And then you have like a shiny paint here. And it's just because they want us to get the, the real sense that we're looking at a living um, creature. They want us to really feel the cosplay of his face. And they want to get all the expressions. So um, his mane here, this is all um, embroidery. And his eyes are embroidery as well as the hair here and here. Then his nose is an applique. His eyebrows are applique. This is a large applique that has the teeth and the beard applique on top. So like I said, these are layered appliques. Layer one on top of the other on top of the other to give us this really beautiful effect. And if you look, they didn't just use plain embroidery. This is like a shimmery um, thread. There you go, thread. So that we get this really beautiful effect in the light. Um, his eyes almost come alive. And that is just a really wonderful detail that they really were able to pull off. So of course, then we have more appliques down here in his shirt. Um, this is supposed to be like his little necktie thing. And then of course, this is gold and it's layered on top. So there's, like I said, there's a lot of appliques going on here to create this living cosplay look. Then of course, we turn to the side and we have our side pockets and our trim is gold. And so is the top layer of the pocket. The pocket is blue. And of course, this is meant to be his head. So it's a like um, the golden mane. And then we have our shimmery gold for the trim. And then if you look in the zipper, the zipper itself is gold, but the threading is blue. See, just the beautiful details just really pull every little thing in. Then if you look at the back of the bag, the straps are like a dark, darker blue. And then debossed and printed is the beautiful rose. And then let's have a look on the inside and see what the liner looks like. Now I really have to be careful because I do not want to bend the front and damage it. So we're going to pull back versus the front. So you'll see there is a zipper pocket in the back, see? And so the liner is this beautiful blue liner and it has lots of little, the roses in the glass. They did a really amazing job with Beast. He does look phenomenal. I mean, I really, I just can't describe um, there's just not enough detail to describe how amazing he looks. I mean, you just, you have to get one for yourself. I mean, look at him. I know I'm being corny. Um, so I love the bag. And like I said, I'm really, I'm really worried that he might get damaged. So I'm going to try hard not to take him out. Um, cause he's gorgeous and I do love him. Um, oh, and the bottom is the gold. So uh, you just have to remember with our special bags, the first thing that we will do is we're gonna clean and then we're gonna treat them so that we can preserve their beauty for a later date. So now, this one's going back up here, I'm sorry. So now that we have covered the bags, I'm moving on to my pink con items. So these are from Curtis over at Pink All Mode. And you see he includes this really nice pink card that says thank you. Um, and I believe he also usually puts like this little card that has, you know, a picture of him in it. That way you get to know who he is. So first there is the pin set that you got. And of course it says pink con on the little shiny sticker. And I think my favorite pin, um, it's a toss up between the poison apple and dopey. But to be honest, that dopey one is really dope because look at all the shiny um, diamonds. But it is, it's a hard pick because I do, do love the poison apple. And then of course, you guys know, see I'm wearing a cake worthy shirt. And then I got a cake worthy shirt with all of the uh, dwarves on it. I love cake worthy. Um, so the shirts last a long time. The fabric is very soft and it's, uh, it has a very um, strong tensile strength, 
which is very important when it comes to t-shirts because over time they do tend to break down in the wash. Um, and I always remind people um, to wash, especially like the ones like this, in cold water. And um, I recommend using those um, color catchers. Uh, that way you can wash it with all of your clothes, but you don't want to get the color from all your other clothes on your favorite cake-worthy shirts. So nab some of those color catchers from the grocery store, toss them in, wash it with cold, and tumble dry lightly. That way it preserves, you know, the niceness of it, and they last for a really long time, because like I said, they have a high tensile strength. So there you go, my, my lovely dwarfs. And then... We have a theme that comes in a Disney box. He has all the hookups with Disney. I'm jelly. No lies. I'm jelly. And um, so here's my matching dwarf shoes. Of course, I'll complete the collection when my bag arrives. Super awesome. I cannot wait to wear them. And actually, if you feel the bottom, these don't feel like cheap shoes. They're actually pretty heavy. Um, and like, look, it says up on the side. So, I mean, they do. They feel like a nice, high-quality shoe. And if you look at the back, it says Disney, Snow White, and the Seven Dwarfs. And it has that um, the jewel in the back. See, because I wasn't sure what the shoes were going to come looking like. You know, were they going to be kind of janky or whatever? I didn't think so because Curtis has good stuff. But um, I'm actually really impressed with these. I love them. They're awesome sauce. And I would recommend, if you have not bought them, that you should definitely go out there and, and get them because they are super cute. And then, let's see what else. Oh, so this, and it's funny because my son, my little guy, you guys have met Colin, right? My special guy from the video with the, um, what was it, Scooby-Doo bag? So he got this for me. He bought, he got it from our store. It's called a Squishable. And this is the Plague Nurse. Um, so the Plague Nurse, she glows. And I love these because they're so soft. I snuggle them. Um, my friend Amanda. Uh, yeah, I know you're watching Amanda. So she got me into these giant pillow things. This is a terrible habit, okay? It's a terrible strengthened habit. So if you guys, um, if you have a Walgreens near you, that has the Nightmare Before Christmas ones. Um, Amanda and I are both looking for them. I, in particular, I'm looking for the Mayor and Oogie Boogie. She's looking for a lot more than me. So, but this is the one my son got me. Um, it's the larger one. There is an even bigger one, um, but we didn't have it. So, uh, he spent his real own money for it. Isn't it super cute? You can get these at World of One Games. Um, but I love it. And I was just so proud of him because... He picked it out himself um, and it's funny because he knows what his mommy likes, you know. I love it. It's so soft. I mean, they're so, so soft. There's also a mini keychain one um, that I'm getting for my bag. So moving on. Okay, and then um, he also got me this little mystery Hello Kitty thing. So I'm going to open it with you guys. It's funny. Um, he likes that um, the people enjoyed watching from the video. He's on Mommy. I'm famous now. I'm like, you always famous with Mommy. Oh, it's the cowboy. Oh, see, I got to make this one a keychain. Because actually, my husband also got me... Um, a Stetson cowboy hat for my birthday because you know I'm from Texas and um, Stetson is the best kind of hat that you can get and so it's really cool and I love it and so it's awesome that it turns out that she's a cowboy and last but not least this is actually from my mother-in-law ah! and it's all Disney themed Ooh. so let's open it I don't know why they have plastic has to make so much noise. So she owns a candy store called the Sweet Spot. So she has lots of cool stuff. You can find her on Instagram. There's a lot of Disney stuff too. 
Okay, so she got me. Oh, it's a raspberry jam from Frank. So not so fancy. And then there's a, ooh, a Mickey Mouse mug from Mohawk Cocoa. Or actually, it's going to be for my tea. I'm a tea girl. Ooh, pumpkin bites. Pumpkin caramel bites. Num nums. I'm going to get that. Ooh, look. Mickey Mouse uh, oven mitt. What girl doesn't need that? Ooh, matching tea towels. Oh, and uh, the spoon holder. Ugh. And uh, I'll read that later with the birthday card. Fudge, walnut fudge. Oh my goodness, she really is trying to make me fat. Oh, look, and this is a Mickey Mouse spoon holder. So that one was the mini, and then this is the Mickey Mouse. Have a matching set. Ooh, and some uh, Mickey Mouse tea towels. She must be trying to help me make my whole kitchen Mickey and Minnie. Oh goodness, that was a lot. So you guys saw my birthday haul. I hope you liked seeing all the new bags. Whew. I hope you liked them all because I loved everything. I definitely think you guys should check out Grotto Treasures, Cordy's Corner, 707 Street, and Pink All Mode. And absolutely, pre-orders are coming up. You should definitely go to World War One Games. Oh, and I almost forgot. Did you guys know that we're about to have six weeks of exclusives coming out? Six weeks of exclusives. Six weeks of exclusives. Oh my God, I am so not ready for six weeks of exclusives. <laughs> And we just redid our online store, so you should totally check it out. It's so much cleaner, so much nicer, and um, you wouldn't believe all the amazing bags and wallets that we found in the warehouse that we didn't know that we had. I mean, today alone, people are going crazy because we had the Atlantis bag. And it's like, wow, we still have Atlantis bags? So, stop on by World One One Games. That's www dot world one dash one games dot com and check us out and i will see you guys next time because every day i have new bags arriving and lots of other amazing disney stuff thanks again and i'll see you guys next time